what we see here is a uh, sterilization container, steriset container exposed to an accelerated steam cycle. We see the blue line on top, which represents the pressure currently going into a vacuum. We see the red line representing temperature. And uh, the first pulse is going to remove air from the packages and from the cycle. And then a steam pulse is being filled into the system. Pressure increases, temperature increases, and it's, as you see, completely wet because the steam, a pure gas, condenses to water. Temperature is increased. We pull out the vacuum again and fill in a second steam pulse to increase temperature even more, now 200 centigrades. And now the thermolock, the reusable temper seal of stereosets, is going to be operated automatically during the cycle. The next pulse is in addition, adding more temperature and removing air, remaining air from the cycle, so that after the next and the third pulse, typically in Europe and in most cases in the US, you use three pulses. After the third pulse, you fill in steam to finally reach the exposure level, um, the high temperature, high pressure level, 134 degrees Celsius or 270 Fahrenheit. And it's important to understand that now everything is apparently wet, completely soaked. And this is not a, a fails uh, situation. It's the intended purpose of steam sterilization to have condensation formed and temperature um, um, and introduced by the condensation. The negative aspect is everything is wet, like also your pouches inside the container, outside of the container, all is wet. And uh, we accelerated the cycle now to have a dry pack for storage reasons. Remaining humidity would be a risk for maintaining sterility. So what we typically do in a cycle is reducing the pressure, go down into a vacuum, because water starts to boil, to be formed back into steam, which can be pulled out by the vacuum. Droplets start to disappear. Water heavily boils, but not only outside, also inside, as we can see in that glass bowl. That's the amount of water which typically would be inside a sterilization container if you sterilize 10 kilograms, 18 pounds of steel. And you can see what happens. It heavily boils. And the longer you hold the vacuum, the better is the chance to dry out this water, to form it back into steam. And the lower the vacuum is, the better the chances are that you really remove all the water from the container. At the end of the load dryness vacuum phase, when the uh, sterilizer returns to ambient pressure, the container can be taken out and safely stored in a very protected manner and safely temper sealed until it's finally going to be used in the air